Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and uh, I want to come back to this tutorial that I showed in the last one and show the global kind of space of programming. Uh, so you can do events which are inside, like I said, or you can, or and and or you can have this global space of programming that you're used to. So say I want to do the same exact thing I just did, except through functions on the global space. So all I need to do is hit Control E, or go to View. Is it View? Where is it at? Uh, window. Control E is Code. So if I go to Code, what I do is I click on this button on the top right hand corner. It says Full Code, right here. And when I click on that, you'll see that I get a big mesh of. Well, it's not really that big yet, but if you have a lot of stuff, this becomes a big mesh of stuff. What you want to do is go above line one and say, you know, um, da, 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 da. there we go. My custom uh, global code here. And what I can do here is say I can create a function called change color, pass in a uh, name of an object. Um, and uh, color. And all I'm going to do is say document dot get or get element. Wait, Who is it get element by ID? And instead of here, I'm going to do name. And then I'm going to do style background color is equal to color. So as simple as that. Oop, sorry, hit save again. So I'm going to do document, get element by ID, name, style, background color, color. So the one thing I want to do before name, um, I'm going to actually change this function to be change S-Y-M-B-O-L, so change symbol color. And before name, I'm going to put stage underscore plus name. Now, the reason for that is because everything that you create down here, such as rect, oval, uh, you don't create stage, stage is already there, but oval and rect, this in the uh, global scale when I do get element by ID, is stage underscore oval, and this is stage underscore rectangle. However, when we're calling it, as you saw in the last uh, video, um, got to turn off full code and then you can see that I do sym dot dollar and just call the string a name oval here as I did here oval uh, but like I said stage goes in, in front when you're doing it on a global scale so now we can just take this function and uh, actually let's take it with its arguments and we'll just paste it down here so we will get uh, as, rather than getting this uh, element, see we could pass the div like we did here, but I wanted to show how to use stage in front of the name, otherwise you might get a little bit confused on where that's at. So I'm just going to pass in oval, and I'm going to pass in this color. There we go. Now I have my color on the global scale, and let's do the same thing here. Keep oval, and paste in that there we go. Now I can go ahead and run this. So I hit Control Enter. It pops up. And when I hover over it, you can see it changes. Now, just to prove a point, I want to go ahead and jump back in here. Control E to bring up my code. Go to full code. And before I do this, I want to say. Um, alert. Uh, div and I want to show you that uh, stage is indeed in front and I'm not doing any trickery if you still don't believe me uh, you should believe me actually because it worked but for those skeptics I'm gonna go ahead and uh, alert out this div once I capture it and then I'm going to alert it again except I'm going to pass in the ID. I think I can do that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and run that. I'm going to flip over it. It's going to say object HTML div element. 
hit OK, and you can see that the ID is stage underscore oval. So be sure that whenever you're calling something on a, uh, lo a global scale, such as a function up here in, in the full code source, full source code, that you add the stage at the front. That is a must append, um, otherwise it just will not work. So uh, that was just a quick tutorial on global and how we can do some cool stuff uh, globally, add in our functions, event handlers, all kinds of cool stuff that uh, maybe isn't built into animate or uh, we want to do a lots of interactive stuff over and over and we don't want to do a hover event on everything and do all, and paste copy and paste 20 lines or 500 lines of code into every mouse over we can put it in a global scale here and just call the function from inside on one line so uh, that's how you can do some global code um, extremely important I found a lot of use in this um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this helps out. And until next time, I am signing off.